All right, guys, I'm back. Thank you very much for sticking around. Oh my god, nobody left. That's a first. I'm so happy to have this community right now. All right. <laughs> so, uh, uh, back to the premise. Uh, let me actually open up my YouTube page. If you guys haven't gone to my YouTube page, please go to my YouTube page. Support that. I need... It, YouTube is really weird. I need like a hundred subscribers to my YouTube channel to be able to even change the URL. So, like, I, the more I get that done, then I can do other stuff like add... Um, uh, thumbnails to my highlight videos and stuff like that to actually make it like a, look like an official page. So, I, I, not to push it, I highly encourage you at least go check out my YouTube channel. I do make game highlights. I post all my Twitch videos on there, break it up into like hour blocks. So it's a little more digestible for you guys if you want to check that out. But if you guys do, I highly appreciate it. Thank you very much for supporting me both on Twitch and on YouTube so I can get this whole thing up and running. Because Lightseekers is, it's still in the process of becoming a, uh, a notable game. So I want to help you know, grow the community. I want to help you guys have some fun with it as much as I'm having some fun with it. Um, so thank you. Uh, on to that, Alice Nun Alice Nanoka commented, can you give me some advice for Carnage deck except Mill? Alice, if you're watching or if you watch this later, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, what I did is uh, one of my friends, Steven, uh, has been working with Carnage. Carnage's ability is a really, really fun... Um, ability here. I want to just look at the look at the hero first and kind of explain before I go into the deck list. Otherwise, a lot of people would just like, copy deck list, quit, uh, do that. I want to talk about it for a little bit first, so bear with me, guys. Bear with me here. Now, Carnage. Carnage's ability. Ability. Deal two damage to yourself. Search your deck for an item card. After shuffling, place that item on the top of the deck. It's a pretty good ability for anyone that wants to run items. Now, a lot of people who run uh, hybrid heroes tend not to lean towards the items because uh, I mean they think just their synergy between the three should work well on its own if you want to add an item in it's just kind of like using an ability uh, so for this it's like okay Carnage definitely wants you to run an item with all these new items in in Kindred we can have a lot of fun with this so what items should we tend to want to run and uh, what my friend Steven did is he looked at this and he was looking for stuff with attack abilities mostly because he really fell in love with a card called the Dusk Talon Assassin. Now three damage trigger one of your abilities conditionally rotating buffs with abilities still rotate if clickable. Now he fell in love with this mostly because of the uh, the uh, Abyss Tentacle, Abyss Weaver, Abyss Shade, all that stuff where use abilities make him go more than once. So, and he is part shadow, so like using multiple abilities at once is great. You obviously don't want to use your own hero ability. So what he did is he started looking around for uh, cards or buffs with abilities on them. And outside of nature, there really isn't a whole lot. Uh, there's Den Mother, there's Hunger Behemoths, Sandpeeds, that's from Mantech stuff. And Animal actually has quite a few cards with abilities. Um, and what's better about it too is... Oh, is the Eagle Bow, 2 damage, increases by one of your recipient's last discarded card is Defend. So this is already an attack ability weapon that deals damage, can be increased, and what's what's better or what's good about it is its superiority over it. Its superiority makes it so that it cannot be removed by uh, the Umbron... Oh god, what's it called? I was literally using... The Battleborn Oppressor. It can't be removed by a Battleborn Impressor. The only way to remove it is if you're playing against Mountain and they use Shatter... Uh, Shattering Blast? I think it was Shatter Blast, and that's not right. Um, crushing Blow. If they use Crushing Blow, it's the only way to get rid of the weapon. Um, but what's really nice about him also is he runs Tech. And in Tech, they have Wrench Juggler. Now, Wrench Juggler obviously reads 3 damage. If you play another mechanical card this turn... Move one of your items from your discard pile back to your hand. So, with General Carnage, if you just have one Wrench Juggler in there, you're never going to lose your item. You're never going to lose superiority over Animal or do any of that, like, you know, ridiculous stuff. Now, what's also nice about this is Animal has a combo that comes with an ability. Beast Control. Seven damage. Now, if you think about this, Attack abilities, use this for 7 damage. Then you use the Dust Talon Assassin to do another 7 on top of that, plus the 3 from Dust Talon Assassin. That's 17 damage, all in one. 
which is ridiculous. You get to use two abilities, which means any tentacles that you have out trigger twice. And it just, it becomes more of a steamroll tempo aggressive deck than an, an, a Carnage Mill. And it, it starts off fairly slow, because obviously you need to build your board, get all this stuff, get your item out and everything like that. And General Carnage, just as a hero, is a fairly slow hero in my opinion regardless, just solely because of his ability. Everyone knows what his first turn ability is going to be. His first turn is going to be use his, use his um, ability, put the weapon on top, then most likely draw that weapon. That's his whole first turn. So having him start off just so slow really makes you not want to play aggro with him. Like, because your first turn, you're not doing anything on the board. You're giving your opponent a free first turn. Which means that you have to play defensively for a little while until it goes into the late game. Just in, in the way I'm seeing the card and reading the card. Uh, which kind of stinks, which is kind of what tore people off of General Carnage in a lot. Because, like, man, you know, if it, if it takes so long, why is Dust... Or, um... The... I cannot think of the Armorsmith. The chip, I could not think of the name. The Armorsmith literally puts it into play, doesn't even use up an action. Like, it's so much more tempo than just his ability. And I think that's most... It's like, I would have loved it if it just put it into your hand. And then you can use your second action to lay the weapon. That would have been great. But this puts it on top of your deck. So then you, can, you have to turn and draw it. Like, it's just it just feels really slow. So... That, that's mostly why we decided, or he decided, to go the slower controller route and then just have big burst turns at the very end. So now let's actually go to the deck and see what we have here. Now, the deck runs, obviously, Beast Control, but it runs Corrupted Wildlife as well. Because you have the animal in here, you can go green. And having green means, hey, draw cards, three additional actions. You can use those to like start triggering abilities, start doing stuff that you wouldn't be able to normally because he's superior in tech. And nothing else other than animal once you get the item out. So being able to corrupt a wildlife into like two poisons and a, and a shadow or something like that is just really good. Obsification, I mean, it's just, it's meant for him, right? You want to put your abyss tentacles out. You want to put uh, pretty much anything that's just a stationary buff out. And have those sit there and sit them behind obfuscation. Even if you just get one. Have one and then obfuscation you're pretty much set for the long haul. You can do it so well. Uh, now, he runs major healing cards, like Emergency System, to heal when you get attacked. He runs Tyrax Fixer, to heal when you start getting low. Uh, three Shadow Puppets, because, you know, Storm and Storm. Um, and then he runs Den Mothers, so if you get attacked, majorly increased damage back to them, really makes them not want to attack you. And then Hungry Behemoth, just, you know, heal up and then hit, 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 really start poking at the damage. Um... Future Chamans in there for really big swing turns. You really don't want to use these uh, until you have a good board and have it so that, hey, Shroud of Knight's out, you can't attack, all that stuff. Like, you, you build up your board kind of like Sicario does. You build up your board for an overwhelming onslaught to your opponent, and then that's how you win. It's kind of like a pseudo Sicario, but with the major heals that tech provides. The major heals and the major kind of better defense that Ramparts provides over Wall of Bones, in my opinion. Now, I opted to run the Abyss Hoarder over um, the uh, Abyss Shade. I don't think that's right. The Abyss Weaver. Because I saw myself as having Emergency System and Tyrex Fixer as all these really strong heals. I don't really need micro heals. I want card draw. I want to make sure that I get to my cards a lot faster and more efficiently. So having Abyss Hoarder out with Den Mother, with my Eagle Bow, which is always going to be an ability. So always, like, Eagle Bowing to draw a card is going to be amazing. Just so much more value out of that. I almost want to add another one, like a third one of these. Because it's going to be so good. Assassin's Guild to make it so I have three actions so I can start doing stuff outside of, you know, like... If I want to do Shadow Shadow or Shadow Poison Poison, something like that, so I can do that. Um, but yeah, I mean, th this deck, it feels like a pseudo Sicario with the heals from tech, the big mercy heals from tech, and then all of the aggression really comes from the animal side, which you're always going to have. Because you pretty much start with it in your opening hand, aside from General Carnage's ability, like, you're always going to have your animal. So it's not like you have to run the... Um, the blacksmith to get that weapon out and then obviously you have you know dead mother which will help with the abyss tentacles if you get attacked hunger beam with all this stuff so you just have a lot of ways to use abilities from your board from your weapon that 
instead of using Night Lurker like in Sicario, you use a weapon for your ability. And Night Lurker obviously can be removed. That's why you need to run with stuff like Ghosty Grass to make sure you get all these buff recursions back when they start removing them. But, I mean, that's why you're like, hey, I obfuscation, I Shroud a Knight, make it so you can't attack me these few turns. And you just need to draw and get to this stuff kind of like Sicario, in a way. I mean, that's that's really all it is. So, the, if this deck does turn into a pseudo-Sicario. I know a lot of these cards are getting retired. So, if you want me to, after I show you this deck and how it plays out, if you want me to try and, like, fix it and make it so it's not retired, I can give it a shot. It's going to be a whole dismantle of the whole thing. But I can give it a shot for you guys if you want. Uh, but uh, let's go into this and I'll just kind of show you how this deck works. Um, obviously, Spirit Tap. Spirit Tap is just amazing if you can get get it behind Obfuscation. Because it means Shrouder Knight costs one. Corrupted Wildlife costs nothing. Beast Control costs nothing. Like, there's just a whole bunch of other things in here that you can do. And I want to say he also ran... Um, he ran the the nature tech combo uh, while, or life imbue so that he could put things like Shroud Knight back in he could put Spirit Tech back in um, to just make it so it lasts a little longer but I want to say he used he used life imbue in a sideboard over like corrupted wildlife for draw because there is a lot more shadow cards in here a lot more um, dread than like the tech and the animal and the animal and tech you like want to use so you really want to just not hold on to them for combos but the, i mean this is the one he gave me the general uh, list idea i put it together i think this was out fine i also think he doesn't run uh rent struggler at all unless it's in a sideboard because not a lot of people tech in weapon removal on the app which is fine that's completely fine um in which case, he, I think he probably runs, um, I think he runs a third Assassin's Guild, because he only ran two Weavers, but, yeah, so that's, that's this list, only four Poison Guards, that's going to be difficult to really Obfuscation, that's probably why he has Spirit Tap, and then Obfuscation afterwards, and hope it doesn't get removed, I can see that, I can see that happening. Future Shaman, also you don't want to lay until the last few turns. Assassin's Guild, you really only lay if you need to have some big swing turns. So keeping your poison in your hand is completely fine, which is why it has almost none. So that's fine. So let's let's just jump on casual and give this a shot. Let's show. Let's show Alice. General Carnage doesn't have to be mill. Okay? General Carnage doesn't have to be mill. Quench my thirst a little bit. Oh, someone's on. Fump Truck. Of course Fump Truck is on. He's in casual. Fump Truck is, is a great guy. I, I was lucky enough to get to play with him at some of my local game stores tournaments. Uh, I mean, he's a phenomenal, phenomenal Light Seekers player. He knows the game ins and outs. He loves building some of these new fun decks. Uh, we, we test them out every time we have tournaments at my store. So it's always fun to see what he comes with. Um, but, I mean, the dude plays this game like no one else. So he's all, he's really fun to talk to. Kuriolos NPC 221. Hello, how are you today? Okay, so we have... I mean, we already know what our first turn is going to be, because it's General Carnage. What's your ability? Rotate one of your buffs one step forward. Okay. Put it right on top. End my turn. So I draw. Yeah, man, I feel like this the whole... The whole taking two damage and not even getting it in your hand... Just it makes me want to rework Carnage on a like a just a physical level. Like talk with the people from Lightsabers, be like, why did you choose to make this guy so slow? Like, just why? Why in, in my heart of hearts did you choose to make this guy so slow? Um, and I wanna say 
Actually, letting a Den Mother here is fine. Next turn, if he tries to go more aggressive with us, we have a Shadow Puppet. Perfectly solid. Perfectly solid. Called it. Called it. Now I'm... Soul Thief, okay. Now this is a defend. Kind of a bummer. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Now I am going to get rid of these. Mostly because now is the perfect time to do it. Because... He's gonna. He would. He would. The healing wouldn't matter, but he has minimal cards in hand. He had six damage on board, which I really don't want to take. I really don't want to take six. Um. Oh, actually, I should have done this ability too because defend was on top. But I could always just use this for three. But I'm actually gonna pass. I need card draw right now. Abyss Tentacle. That is a powerful pickup for me. Yeah, the reason I use Shadow Puppet there is, like I said, he has, he has minimal cards in hand. Six damage on board, so it set him back a lot of damage. It means that his next turn is going to be very, very slow. Or it would have been if he didn't have seven damage in hand. But he did attack me. So this is going to hit him for seven. Eight, nine. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. He's got one card in hand now. Is he going to attack me? Does he know that this thing does 7 if you attack? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. So now I can do 5 and then pass. Which I think is fine. I think it's fine. I need to start being slightly aggressive with this. And dealing 5 is perfectly acceptable. And then passing. Another tentacle. Another tentacle. I mean, we're just getting some really good draws right now. Wall of Bones. Okay. I think next turn... Next turn is a good turn to Hungry Behemoth and Pass. Ooh, okay. Yeah, definitely Hungry Behemoth Pass. If he has a Shadow Puppet, he has a Shadow Puppet. There's not much I can do about that. Um, actually, yeah, I think that's fine. If we abyss tentacle, get another card draw. Um, now the reason I'm doing this, oh, another shadow puppet, that's great for us, is he seems very aggressive. If he wants to shadow puppet these two, I really want this thing to stick out so I can heal. Like, I really just want healing right now. I don't mind that these two really can't get through for damage. Right now I need to heal, so if he keeps this one on board, that's perfectly fine with me. If he kills this one, I still have a tentacle out, which is more important to me in the long run. Um, so I'll go down to 10. I could just be dead. I could be dead. Ooh, Shroud of Night. I can't pay for it, though. But it's nice. It's nice I didn't draw any of my tech heals. Any of my tech disruption. Okay, it's a bit of a bummer. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so I didn't draw any of my major tech heals. I didn't draw any of my abyss uh, quarters. Oh, there's finally one. So if I don't die this turn, I can come back. And it all depends on what he has. What did he draw? Did he draw four damage? Seems very aggressive, so I'm wondering. He didn't. Okay. See, now I think is when we we really resurface and we start grinding out our control game. Now we can start hitting for nine a turn, which is just going to be insane. Okay. Is he going to remove this into the tentacle? No! Okay, that's fine. He's going to leave up potential 5 heal. Which is okay. That only rotates on defense. 
Now, the, the bow does one more damage when they defend, right? Yeah, if it's a defending card. Okay. So, yeah, we're fine. We'll just roll five and pass. Now we can do ten. Actually, thirteen. With Dust Town Assassin. Which is ridiculous. That, like, Dust Town Assassin, because of how many abilities I have and, like, how my board is set up, with my big, massive heals from tech... Just nuts. Like, that's incredible. And even with the Behemoth, I could have healed for three, done her thing to heal for, you know, for five. Just It, it also comes out to be a big burst heal with the, um, the Behemoth. So, like, that's just... It's a really, really strong and fun deck. And like I said, that was us not drawing almost any of our tech cards, our uh, ramparts, our um, emergency system. We only drew one fixer. All we did was we healed with our um, Hunger Behemoth, and that was it. That was the only healing we had. So, like, we... We stabilized without our defensive cards, and I think that's insane. I think that's amazingly insane. Miss Gel. Is this Boulder? It is Boulder. Wow. I think we're in for a good game. Ambushworm. Okay. And a Magma. That's solid. Two fire cards in one. We know what we're going to do. It's going right on top. We're going to draw it. That's our first turn. That is always pretty much going to be our first turn. Now we're going to lay it. And I think it's also right to lay emergency system here, too. We'll only heal for five of the attacks. But he seems to be very aggressive, so getting any sort of healing off right now is better than nothing. Okay, you can heal for six. Yeah. Now, what's amazing about this is he laid a defense card. Which means our eagle bow is going to do three. Five damage. We'll take it. We'll take that every day. What you got? Inferno. Well, it's only five. I still have a Tyrex fixer in my hand in case I need to pump up again. Which I'm A-OK -okay with. Um, I actually... I actually think I just want to draw. Just want to pass and draw. Yeah, I need to get a little bit of card advantage here. I need... There we go. There's the Abyss Hoarder I'm looking for. Now I can slap down an Abyss Hoarder, use my ability, draw a card, deal f right now 4 damage. Which is so good. I mean, I got two tentacles here. Another Tyrax Fixer. We're playing this into the long game. Which I'm A-OK -okay with. A-OK -okay with. Swift Pyrie, okay? So he'll do three damage. Now's a good turn to just Tyrex Fixer. First we'll draw with our ability. Sh 
shadow puppet. That's incredible. That's incredible. I'll take three. Now, I know there's nothing for Mountain that can do more than really 12 damage without a major input. So we get one more turn of using our ability to draw a card. No, wrong one! Well, I mean, because we're that good and we mess up, we'll put ourselves below. Maybe that's a next level play that I just didn't even think about. Maybe that's what I wanted to do. It's really what I wanted to do. Crystal Leech, okay. Fine by me. I have another tentacle. The Abyss Hoarder was all used up anyway. What you got? What do you have? What are we playing against? Another Spirit Pirate. Sure. Sure thing. I want to say... I do nothing, actually. I need to draw. I need to be... There we go. With him being double fire, it really means he's going to start putting on the pressure. I need a way to bounce back as soon as he does. So that I can defend while consistently dealing my damage. So getting that Tyrex Fixer was actually a really clutch draw. That is fine. I got a third one in my hand. Yep. He's going to look at that and kind of go, How are you for real? And I am. I am for real. Ramparts. That would have been nice a while ago. Not going to lie. Okay, so I'm at 15. It's not going to trigger yet. Ooh. Now it'll trigger. So now we'll do this. And I want to say just Ramparting is fine. Getting that mild defense. Wait till he starts playing something better. Because I have two turns before this can really go off. I have two turns before I can activate this ability. Mountain Breaker, sure. I mean, I can't remove it, so that's fine. So... I honestly think I just passed here. I could, well, I'll just use the ability. It's good for four damage. Damage is always good. Try to apply a little bit of pressure where I can. He's only got two cards in hand. I have a buff removal for this stuff, so I don't need to worry too much. Hungry Behemoth will help me heal. I think we're good. I think we're good. This is this is the more controlly game that I love to play. Oh, you. You, sir, are trying to do stuff that you should not be doing. And it's okay. It's okay. Now... I want to say... Actually, I want to say I just pass. I'm not in that. Talk, or assassin skills is going to be really nice here. Gives me three actions so I can lay this, use my ability, and still draw two cards. Take the two card draw. Dust Town Assassin is good. Putrid Shaman's really good too. Okay, now he could have like uh, Wrath of the Mountain. Ooh! Guys, he had it. He had Crushing Blow. I 
think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. Because I can't even Hunger Behemoth to use it for heals. Yeah, I think I'm just dead now. Playing against Mountain is a little rough. I'm dead? I could have just spooked myself. That would have been fun. Magma Worm. There we go. There we go. Good game. Good game. Good game. Alright, so let's let's go into this. I liked the way it was playing. It felt really slow. Like, incredibly slow. I think I need... Obviously, I need more Abyss Hoarders. I want to say the Wrench Juggler is not going to help us on Ladder. Um, Abyss Hoarder definitely will for card draw. Because we're using so many abilities, like, we need to be able to refill our hand like that. Putrid Shaman? I didn't really see being helpful. Like, it's good for the big bursty turns, but, like, I was winning just fine without them. So I don't think I need them. Maybe Notch and Assassin. So if they want to start removing our uh, tentacles, they'll have to get through that. I'm thinking one less Ramparts, one more Emergency System. We, like, we just, we need heal. Really badly. And I want to say... Like, in nature, there's not a lot of animal cards that heal. Mind you, there's, like, this one. I can move a Beast card from my deck to my hand. I think Bramble Spike Hunter could be interesting because I consistently use my uh, bow ability to keep this restarted. Actually, that, could that be better than Dead Mother? Because if I have my bow out, I really don't need... Yeah, actually that could be better. Just consistent damage every time I attack, and I'll always attack with my bow. To have it just three damage. I think that'd be better. The Bramble Spike Hunter? What am I at? 29? Hmm. Wondering. Maybe I do just run a third Hungry Behemoth. Because, I mean, if I need Animal Guards to lay Beast Control, I actually probably should be running more. Like how many Poison? I only have four Poison. I have 12 Shadow. But Shadow is what really helps this deck. Like, Dust Talon Assassin. I don't think I need three. Or, uh, yeah, I don't think I need three. Two is fine. I think two is fine. And then we can add another Bramble Stock Hunter. Yeah. yeah. I think that'll be good. I think that'll be good.
I mean, being able to lay life in view is really good. Just to, like, put beast control and stuff into play, you know? Should I actually take that out of a shot or not? Should I play Life and View over Shroud of Night? Maybe? Is that too weird? Shroud of Night, like, Spirit Tap makes this and this and this free. Obfuscation comes down to two. I want to say that's fine. And Life and Life View can bring back, like, Beast Control and stuff from the graveyard. So, yeah, that's, I think that's actually fine. I think that's a better one to play... Then Shroud of Night. Um, Cause yeah, Shroud of Night really only powered up my tentacles. It did make it so I can't like I can't be attacked. So like my buffs can't be removed. But with Obfuscation, that's the same thing. I think that's fine. Maybe I need a third Ramparts. Oop, there we go. Maybe that's what I need. Okay. Okay, I think we got it. I think we got it. Yes. I do just want to see one thing. Because now that I'm thinking about, like, uh, Flame Claws. Flame Claws is just an amazingly fun. Um, item. It's an amazing fun item. I'm wondering how many of their abilities actually, or uh, buffs, have abilities. Like, Fr Flame Quest Umbron is the only one. Okay. Okay. The ability doesn't really help with, um, what am I trying to say? Increasing more damage, I guess. If all we're doing is running Flame Fist Umbron. Yeah, I think we're fine. I think animals, animals are really good when it helps as the heals, the stable, the stability for the longer game. Fire, fire seems more aggressive and... This is not really that aggressive. It is more of a tempo control. The Beast of Carnage. I hope you guys are having fun. If you have any questions on this deck, please let me know. If you have any, like, you know, why are you using this card over a certain card, go ahead and tell. Go ahead and ask me. Now this is going to be a solid turn. Uh, mostly because I have Ramparts right away to make it so I don't take damage from my ability. Yes, my next turn will literally be just draw. But it also could be Shadow Puppet draw if he tries to go hammer on the buffs. Okay. pass. Get my item. Perfectly fine with that. So on the next turn, I pretty much just Eagle Bow pass. And the turn after that, I Abyss Hoarder, Eagle Bow. I don't even really have to Abyss Hoarder, Eagle Bow. I can just pass. Because I'm not doing damage, so there's no point in me laying the Abyssal Hoarder if it's not pushing or being proactive in anything. Alright. What does he have? The emergency system here is amazing for us. Yeah. I 
think it's good. I think it's good. Put an emergency system down. We'll pass. Obsification. Man, if only we had spirit tap, like right there. Play obfuscation next turn. Okay, so he's got lunar. What's he gonna do? That's fine. I'll take it. I think I'll just actually just pass again. Uh, if I get a tech. Really? No tech, huh? Okay. I was gonna say, if I get a tech, I can spirit tap. And then next turn, obfuscation right next to spirit tap, which is amazing. So good. Um. Oh. Actually, yeah, now is a good turn to do this. And use the bow's ability. Got ourselves a Bramble Spike Hunter now. Could lay that out, use the attack ability. This is only a corner three. To... No, 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 this is always restarts. So I, I, like, every other turn I can use this. So I really don't want to lay this... Oh! He milled a tentacle. That hurts. Hurts him right here. So now what I can do is I can use this attack. Can lay my Noxion Assassin now. Oh, that's good. That's really good. So now Noxion Assassin. Then if I'm lucky, if I'm lucky, wow, he's lucky. He's the luckiest man in the world. He'll do nothing. Mage ship. Okay. That's fine. I will Spirit Tap. Oh god, no. No, I don't think I will, actually. Um, no, I need, I need to draw a little bit more. I can Corrupted Wildlife. Um... I fix her. No, I don't want to fix her yet. What am I kidding? Um, do I hunger behemoth? I think I do for get some heals in there. I'm obviously. I I think I want to shadow puppet this like five sure. Because he's gonna have a big swing turn. I know he's got the seven damage in hand. So, Shadow Puffing this to remove the 7 damage is completely fine with me. Completely fine. I will defend and heal for 2. Get myself right back up there. See, that's the thing is, I, I need... Ooh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. I need to pretty much draw just any other poison card. that to heal and then draw that's gonna help it's gonna help I'm gonna slam that sucker down and heal cancel my next defend okay I'm okay with canceling this. A okay with that. I have a big heal here. I have a big heal here. There, heal, there, heal. Everywhere, heal, heal. And now your Sunstrike. Ooh, a Dawnstalker. Okay. Okay. Kind of curious what's happening.
kind of want a corrupted wildlife. And I think I want to... Honestly, pay for it with obfuscation. Yes. Lay this down. Use an attack ability. Now, I'm gonna hit, get hit for... Oh, only two. Go down to 13. I could just die. Astral has a way to deal like 14 damage to me many times over. But I think I gotta risk it for the... Oh no, if he attacks me with anything, I'm solid. I'm solid as a rock. We have life in view. Beautiful. We have all our heals in our hand. We have everything we could have ever wanted. Um. Let's draw first. Let's be smart about this. Obsfication. Oh. My. Word. So now, man, I need I need some dread. I need some dread cards to be able to like lay the spirit tap then the obfuscation. However, I do have life imbue, so I can spirit tap, use life imbue to put obfuscation into play. Guys, I'm a genius. I am a genius. I'm so honestly surprised hasn't laid like any pathfinders. It's kind of terrifying. This is only going to deal six, unless he lays a Lunar here. Nope. So... Oh no, I can't even lay Spirit Tap and Ossification because... This is my only Dread. So I have to... Yeah, I have to drop. Which I'm fine with. I'm A-OK -okay with that. There's my other Dread. So now next turn. Dust Town Assassin. That's fine. You got 14 damage in hand. You got the anti-gravity bomb. Nope. Coolio. I will definitely heal. And then I will definitely attack. And now... I... I'm very curious as to why he has no... Um... Pathfinders yet. Aren't you? Aren't you like a little bit curious? Spirit tap out. Here could be a pathfinder. Here could be a pathfinder. He hasn't laid a single one and he's drawn well over half his deck. Is he just the most unlucky boy in the world? Maybe. Maybe he is. It costs two less. My buff combos. Oh. That makes sense. That makes sense. So I can do this and this. Now I draw a tentacle. Of course. Of course, of course, of course. And now I think I want to use this to heal. In all honesty, I want to use this to heal. I 
I got no attack cards. I'm sorry. I am so sorry for your loss. But yeah, now I want to lay Abyss Tentacle. Heal for five. Hit him for two. And now these three just can't be touched at all, which I am A-OK -okay with. Oh, and an emergency system. So I can lay that out. Sunstrike. Okay. What do you have? You have an additional action to do something. Well, there goes life in view. That's fine. A okay with me. So we're gonna lay that. And we're gonna hungry behemoth our way to victory. We're gonna just start healing. I mean, if he right now, if he buff removals these stuff, I'll heal for seven, first of all. And then beast control can come down with almost no worries. And we can start cleaning this game up. Beautiful. Let's move my board. Defend with this. Heal, poke. Start playing a grinder game. Now we can die to... Uh, the the anti-gravity field. Or the one that deals 14 damage if he doesn't draw gravity. Or that uh, solar one. So now we can use Assassin's Guild to, for card draw. Beautiful. Draw two. Shadow Puppet. Because we're that good. We're just that good. You can heal. You can heal if you want to. Oh, it was a defend card. He probably was trying to push damage with a defend card. I like his style. I like his style. Um, but we're gonna defend real quick. And I'm actually okay with using this defend if I really wanted to, like one more time, next turn. Probably not right now. Assassin's Guild, perfect, perfect. Actually, we can start using our bow for three damage because he's been using all these defend cards. Go for it. You do everything you need to do right now. Solar Wind, that's the one I was thinking of. Solar Wind can discard cards. But, yeah, I think just using this for heal is plenty fine with me. And then Assassin's Guilding to draw two. Coming right back into this. Another Hungry Behemoth. No, I think we do this for three. More than three. Then we knock an Assassin. Full Moon, I can't play combos, okay. What is this, increase the ceiling? Yeah, increase the ceiling received by... Th That's fine. I'm gonna Hungry Behemoth and then hit you for more. Once again, slow, grinding, slow. I love these types of games. So good. They make me feel like I'm being productive in that machine. I've got my whole board going. Whole board of stuff. Oh my. That was clever. I like that. I'll heal. Thank you. 
So I will defend. I'm trying to think, because I could have done... He was at 9, I could have done 8. See, so yeah, I didn't have it. Um, I think it's actually right here to Dusk Town Assassin, this for healing again. Actually, no, if I do this for damage, it's lethal. So yeah, okay, I did have lethal. I forget that Dusk Town Assassin also does 3. I forget about that all the time. Like, it's just, it's such a good card, it's literally just be like, you can use another ability again this turn. It's like, what? I get to do three damage and an ability? That's insane. Guys, did I just... Let's open another pack. Oh, two rares. Mm, 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 mm. Yes. We'll just, we'll play one more game with this. One more game. I hope everyone's enjoying their day so far. I'm loving today. You know, it's Monday, yes. Work was work. But, you know, it happens. It happens. I like to come home, unwind with a nice giant bottle of water, and you guys, have some fun. Just watch some Light Seekers. Enjoy the game we're given. Play some casual. And just make a day of it, you know? Make a nice little evening. I think it's good. You know, I would love, I would love to start seeing some of the new cards. Like, I, do you think, if, if, the, if the next set is coming out in January, do you think, like, December is going to be card reveal month? Because, I don't know, it's like mid-January, right? Mid-January, well, no, December, the Rift Packs are coming out December 4th. And we've seen some of them, but I don't think I've actually seen the items that are going to come out. So I'm wondering when they're going to reveal those, because they're not on the website. I saw... The new poison weapon, like an image of it in the promo image, but I haven't seen what it is, and I'm very curious as to what it is. I know they've had to rework a lot of things. Ooh, that's good, that's good. Now I can. Uh... No, no, I always use my ability first. Come on. And then I draw the weapon. go. Now I weapon, and I pass. And then I have this hoarder, and I equip my, or use my, use my ability. You can look if you want. Do they actually have the images of those cards? Because I, I looked on their website, and I couldn't find them. Like, they're not in the card database. That's mostly where I looked. I wasn't really ambitious to go find them, but yeah, if you, if you want to post the link in chat, go for it. I'd love to be able to look at some of these new item cards that they have revealed. If they've revealed them, I mean... They could not have, I don't know. Guys, we got an Abyss Tentacle as well. The only thing that messes us up is a Crystal Leech. And which could be fine, which is fine for us. If he's gonna if he's gonna leech these guys, he's gonna leech those guys. Wow, we are we are taking some pain, aren't we? Well, I think the Abyss Hoarder. I can't abyss tentacle because I don't have mastery. That is amazing. That is amazing. Ooh, the bramble spike hunter. Something we never want to lay with the hoarder. Maybe this card is not actually as good as I want it to be. Maybe it's just not. You know what I mean? Four healing. Am I playing Mill? He's being very aggressive. I don't know. Wow, I am being rushed down by aggro. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you, they did release them. Yeah, I know, like, Flynemo and Skyrider all got reworked, so those are staying in. But, uh, which actually kind of surprises me. Um, yeah, definitely doing that one. Um, I thought, I saw that, like, all the Storm and all the tech weapons were just getting... Uh, retired. Is that not right? Are they not getting retired?
That's gonna help us. It's gonna help us a lot. Ooh. Cause I know I know that I saw Um like Dread was keeping their weapons, even Mountain was keeping their weapons. This guy is super aggressive. But I didn't think that Storm and Tech were keeping their weapons, which I, was really weird to me when I first saw it. I was like, why are they not allowed to keep their weapons? That makes no sense to me. Oh, really? It isn't in the recent. That's, that's interesting. And they only have... Um... Four weapons. Are they not showing the images for all the other ones? Like, they have Star Sail, Servant's Fang, Geoplate Defender, and Jade Wing. Do they not have the, uh, the other ones that are staying? Part of me wants to do this and pass. So if he's going to remove my stuff, he's going to take some pain for it. Okay. Like, it's weird. I want to draw a tech card so that I can life imbue something, but I also want to draw a tech card so that I um, can heal. You know what I mean? It's kind of weird like that. Uh, I mean, I have an additional action. I think applying some pressure right now would be good. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I know, um, what, like, uh, Jax's, obviously Jax's Nitro Hammer, and, um, is it Malia? Is Malia the toy that you get? I'm trying to think of who the, um, the toy is for Storm. Korra, Korra, thank you. Um, I mean, I assassin skilled to get un additional actions, and then I attack, and then I pass. There we go. I need ramparts more than life imbue for obfuscation, but well, now I'm just gonna ramparts anyway. That's definitely what I'm doing now. Oh, oh, that's that's getting shadow puppeted for sure, for sure. Yep. Yep, you're taking some pain there. So next turn, we can... What? Six and six, so we have twelve. And he's gotta do something about him. That is a long, long URL. Oh my. But now, like, this also means that he has to draw... Or no, I think we just won. Yeah, we just won. I, I keep forgetting that Dust Town Assassin has three damage on it. I keep forgetting about that.